My name is Olivia Ocampo, and this is my last lecture. Chapter 1, An Injured Lion Still Wants to Roar I believe that everyone can relate to some sort of animal, whether it's characteristic-wise or whatever metaphorically represents you best. Although it may seem weird, I relate most to an octopus for three simple reasons. One being independent, two being shy, and three being intelligent. For as long as I can remember, I have always been an independent person in everything I do. In paving my own path, and being a leader as opposed to being a follower, I've realized that it's okay to divert from certain standards and create your own. In doing so, I've allowed myself to open up and come out of my shy shell, much like an octopus naturally would. With these characteristics, I've embraced and developed my own sense of knowledge and intelligence that is distinct to me and only me. Chapter 4, The Parent Lottery Throughout my life, I have been blessed to say that I have been surrounded by nothing but supportive people. Ranging from family to friends and coaches, there have been countless support systems in my life. Through everyone in my life, my parents and brothers have no doubt been the most significant. They never fail to support me in anything and everything I do. They've always been by my side, cheering me on, and ensuring that I have the confidence I need to succeed. I will forever be grateful, appreciative, and thankful for the sacrifices that my family has gone through for our happiness. My family will always serve as my number one motivation to succeed in life and make them proud. Chapter 28, Dream Big. Throughout life, I have come across many people who've tried to bring me down and lower my self-esteem for their greater benefit. Whether it was regarding my future, my size, or even my height, I never let their cruel words get to me. As a matter of fact, these people have pushed me to be my best throughout my life and have allowed me to realize that I truly can do anything I put my mind to. In doing so, I have proven many people wrong and have surprised many people along the way. While I'm not stopping here, I plan to continue to shock people with my accomplishments throughout my life and continue to reassure myself that anything is possible if you put your mind to it. Chapter 53, Never Give Up. I have been playing soccer since I was around five years old, going on 11 consecutive years. For as long as I can remember, my only major goal in life has been to play soccer at the collegiate level. With my hard work and determination, I am confident that I will be able to reach my goal and that I will succeed. With the help of my parents and coaches, they have continuously pushed me to be the best I can, not only on the field, but off as well. In doing so, they've given me confidence that I will need to overcome challenges along the way, which I am forever grateful for. Chapter 56, Tigger or Eeyore. For all my life, I know that I've been a Tigger. I have constantly surrounded myself with kind people who radiate endless amounts of positivity. Wherever I am or whatever situation I'm in, I always choose to look on the bright side even if it's not prominent. I have learned that even the smallest bit of positivity can change someone's outlook on life and the world itself. In my opinion, life is too short to focus on the negative things but instead the positive, upbeat, and happy things that impact your life. I have no plans whatsoever to change my outlook and will always remain a ticker. After all, beautiful things happen when you distance yourself from negativity.